Your next walk through those airport security scanners may be a little less revealing. New software upgrades promise to show fewer details about the bodies under passengers' clothing. Instead, the scanner screens would mark areas needing to be checked on a generic body image. For the naked truth on airport screening, it's time to bring in our resident security expert, Richard Falkenrath. Richard is a Bloomberg contributing editor and principal at the Chertoff Group. He is a former deputy commissioner for the New York City Police Department and also a former White House security advisor to George W. Bush. Richard, you're in Washington this morning. The scanners are up and running in Washington. That's maybe where the first software upgrades are going to go. The question I have for you is this. From the perspective of a security person, how much of a balance do we really need to strike between privacy concerns and the need to know what might be under these people's clothing? Well, the government needs to be pretty creative about protecting the citizens' privacy concerns as it deals with new threats. And that's the important thing to understand about these scanners. The reason we need these scanners is that the current metal detectors only detect bombs and weapons that contain metal. And Al-Qaeda has now used a number of different weapons that contain no metal whatsoever and so can completely evade our current scanning technology. And so the purpose of these scanners is to see through the clothing for devices that may be concealed on someone's body, as was the bomb used on the Christmas Day bomber that almost took down an airplane over Detroit. But Richard, why should the government be so concerned about what these people are seeing when it comes to the scanner images behind closed doors? They're looking for potential terrorist items. Uh, are they, I mean, what really is the fear that people just won't fly because they're afraid somebody's going to see what the shape of their body is? Well, there, there is a community out there that was very disturbed by the fact that these images produced essentially a naked image of the human body. You could see right through people's clothing, through their undergarment, and if that was being stored, if it was being looked at by the TSA screeners, people were very uncomfortable with that. And frankly, I can understand that. And so the vendors were instructed by TSA to find a way to resolve this privacy concern. And what they came up with was a sort of anonymized, avatar-like, generic image that would represent the person rather than showing the person's bodily details. Uh, Richard, here's the question for you. Just how satisfied are federal authorities with the state of airport security right now? Some of the functions are being contracted out. You hear stories about people who've tested the system, taking knives and other things through it successfully. Uh, do we really believe that these scanners are going to deal with those issues? Uh, not alone. Uh, the scanner is just one layer in a multi-layered attempt to defend the system. There are still lots of holes in the system, in particular international points of departure flying into the United States where the U.S. has limited control over how screening is done there. But significant progress has been made in the last nine years, and so I think many federal officials are feeling pretty good about the state of our air security.